Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back for another Chimera Fusion video. Today I want to show you a combo on how to essentially gimmick puppet lock your opponent uh, both after Age of Overlord, which is the next set, which will make it very easy, and right now if you wanted to. You don't even have to wait for Age of Overlord. Now I'm going to call it gimmick puppet lock, but we're not actually using gimmick puppet nightmare. We're using a different card, uh, but it essentially does the same thing. So let's go ahead and check out the combo. And as we get into it, I'll show you any new cards or anything that you need to know. So starting off, the requirements for this combo are one copy of Brand of Fusion and one copy of Mirror Sword Knight. Now you can open Quadal and that'll do just as fine. Uh, you can open Branded Opening to search this Brand of Fusion, that'll do fine. Uh, and then these three cards are just unneeded. They're just extra cards in our hand, so we're gonna call them Imperms for now. So let's go ahead and step forward through this combo. Uh, first, we're just gonna go into our Mirror Sword Knight. Now in this particular version, I'm gonna show you with the new card in Age of Overlord and then in the next combo, I'll show you uh, without that card. So whatever you can do right now. Uh, so let's go ahead and use Mirror Sword Knight, summon out our birth mat, search our uh, Chimera Fusion and Gazelle. So pretty much starting how we would normally start now, but this time we're gonna activate Chimera Fusion and go into something different. So we're going to use the birth mat and the Gazelle to go into this new card called birth mat, the Phantom Beast Dark Ruler. So let's go ahead and take a look at that effect this is a new fusion card coming out in Age of Overlord, which is coming out in October for uh, TCG. And this requires two Beast Fiend and or Illusion monsters with different types. So basically you need a Beast and a Fiend, a Beast and an Illusion, or a Fiend and an Illusion, uh, some combination of those. And pretty much let's go to the relevant part. So when this card is fusion summoned, you can send a Beast, a Fiend, or Illusion from your deck to the graveyard. And that's really the most relevant part of this effect. And there has to be some way to abuse that. Of course, generic Foolish Burial effects do not stick around too long in Yu-Gi-Oh! So let's take a look at what we can come up with using this card. So we go into that card, uh, and then we go through our normal Chain Links. Chain Link 1 is going to be the Fusion Burfamet. Chain Link 2 is going to be the uh, level 5 Burfamet to summon back near Sword Knight. And Chain Link 3 is going to be our Gazelle to search the Coatl. Okay, so let's go ahead and resolve those. And what do we dump? DD Orthros. DD Orthros is essentially an alternate to Gimmick Puppet uh, that is a Fiend. Gimmick Puppet itself is a machine, so we can't use that in this particular combo. But if we look at DD Orthros, the monster effect, it says if this card is special summoned to your field, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn except Fiend type monsters. So it is a Gimmick Puppet lock essentially for any deck that is not playing Fiends. Uh, so that's anything but pretty much Labyrinth at this point. And, you know, even if you're playing against Labyrinth with actual gimmick puppet lock, it doesn't really do much anyway. So, yeah, DD Orthros is going to be the new card that we're going to be working with. All right, so let's go ahead and step forward in the combo. You probably already see where this is going. Uh, we're going to add back our Chimera Fusion to our hand because this card is also treated as Chimera the Flying Mythical Beast. So same as the Chimera the King of Phantom Beasts, we can add back the Chimera Fusion with this guy. And let's go ahead and step forward. We can go into Branded Fusion, dumping Albaz and an Effect Veiler. No, you don't have to play any bricks to play this. Uh, and then we can go into Albion the Sanctifier Dragon and set our Chimera Fusion for follow-up. So uh, pretty much we end on Burfamet, Mirror Sword Knight, and Albion the Sanctifier. Three cards in hand were unused, not needed for discards or anything. Chimera Fusion is set. Uh, and yeah, let's go ahead and go to our opponent's turn. Draw phase, they draw, and then we go ahead and activate Albion to summon back the Burfamet to our field and the DD or throws to our opponent's field. So now our opponent is locked into Fiends, special summon for the rest of the turn. This is a lingering effect, even if they uh, you know, have Book of Moon, or even if they tribute over their DD or throws, they still are locked into special summoning only Fiend type monsters. Uh, and we can also now activate our Burfamet since we've special summoned it back. And we can go ahead and search our Spring and Skit for follow-up and a Chimera Fusion. And then if we want, we can use our Mirror Sword Knight as well right now. Or we can hold it to the next turn to summon yet another Burfamet. Uh, let's go ahead and summon our Gazelle here. And Gazelle can search our final copy of Burfamet. So now we have Chimera Fusion with uh, Kit and Burfamet in hand. Uh, with our Quaddle that we've searched. So we've searched a whole ton of cards. We have a lot of advantage. And what our opponent is probably going to do is set 
a bunch of back row to try to live to next turn. So all we have to do is when our opponent sets stuff, uh, flip this Chimera Fusion, go into Guardian Chimera, pop two back row, uh, and be in a really great spot to win. Now note, another disadvantage that Orthros has um, you know, instead of Gimmick Puppet, is that when we destroy this, it is going to go to our extra deck, face up extra deck. So uh, we're not going to be able to loop it with Albion like you can with Gimmick Puppet. So you're going to have to try to end on the next turn. But because we have two Chimera Fusions, being able to pop four cards, up to four cards with um, Guardian Chimera, and then that will just put a ton of damage on board, uh, we should be good to go to OTK on the next turn. So. Yep, that's pretty much it uh, after Age of Overlord with this new card. Now, what if we don't want to wait till Age of Overlord? Or what if we draw our brick? What if we draw our DD Orthros? If you draw the DD Orthros in the same combo, it doesn't matter. It really does not matter. We can still go into Mirror Sword Knight, into Burfamet, search the Chimera Fusion. But now when we activate the Chimera Fusion, we're just going to discard the Orthros as material. So we're gonna go into the original Chimera King of Mystical Beasts, uh, be able to hand rip in the end phase, and then that's fine. We go ahead, activate all of our effects. Branded Fusion can go into Albion the Incandescent once again, and we have our um, we have our DD Orthros in the grave with Albion on field. So we're all set to go. And what does that mean? That means you can play this deck right now. You don't even have to wait for the new card. We can just go ahead and play Orthros if you wanted to. You can even play the spell that searches Orthros, which is Dark Contract with the Gate, the DDD spell card. Let's go ahead and check that out. Uh, this card, we can play Dark Contract with the Gate, uh, which lets you add a DD card from your deck to your hand every turn. And we can just search the Orthros if we wanted, or you just play a whole bunch of Orthros, and worst case, you just use it as Guardian Chimera, um, material if it's extra so yeah it's up to you if you really want to play a lock right now just play the dd orthros and if you want to wait for something more consistent uh and with fewer bricks in age of overlord we're going to get the new card to just foolish the dd orthros to your graveyard and you should be all set to go so yeah with that being said hope you guys enjoyed this i don't know how you feel about this coming up are you looking forward to it <laughs> uh, you probably are if you're playing this deck and you probably do not uh, if you are going to be playing against it because nobody likes Kimmick Puppet Lock except for the people doing it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, consider joining the channel, and I will review your deck list for you on video on the channel. Uh, yeah, and we'll see you guys in the next one for some more Chimera Fusion content.